All right, it's real unboxing time. All right, it's real unboxing time, and we're also gonna pick the winners of the Kitek giveaway. Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. If you watched yesterday's unboxing of the Super Six Sack, you saw me tease today's video where I talked about how I just picked up a new reel that we're going to be using over here on the channel, something that I've never used before, a new model, something different from all the other reels that are in the current arsenal. And I'm excited to crack off into this unboxing with you guys. But first, before we get into that, we're gonna go ahead and pick the winner of the Kitek giveaway. Recently, I did an unboxing where we got some tactical DD crankbaits and a bunch of different Kiteks. And I accidentally bought this color right here somehow. And it's not the best for the kind of water that I fish. So I thought I'd give it away to one of you guys. All you had to do was like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me an interesting comment. So I've gone through, I've read all the comments, and I picked out 10 comments that stood out to me. I numbered them all, added everybody's name to a list, and we're gonna go ahead and just read those comments now. And we'll do a random number generator right here on camera, and we'll pick the winner for the Kitex. I'll go ahead and share the comments that stood out to me with you guys really quick. Had some really good ones, a lot of really awesome comments. Thank you to everybody who uh, took the time to drop me a line there on that video. And I'm sorry that everybody can't win, but we gotta choose just one. One winner to get these bad boys and we're gonna do that right now so I'm gonna read these comments to you and then we'll go ahead and run that random number generator and move on to the unboxing so first up this comment comes from Jamie now one thing I wanted to make sure that I did in this giveaway was show the ladies some love and give a little recognition to the females who are watching the channel out there I don't have a lot of uh, female viewers and there were a couple that left comments trying to get in on the Kitek giveaway so I wanted to go ahead and make sure that they got in and got their chance to win like I said I picked 10 comments Comments. So everybody who got their comment picked has a 1 in 10 shot of winning these paddle tail swim baits. The first comment comes from Jamie. She says, currently I'm sitting next to my boyfriend watching your video and he gave me that side look once you mentioned the giveaway. So here I am trying to win this. What he thinks is for him, but is really to add to my tackle collection. That's comment number one. Comment number two is from Jumpman. Heaters only. Can't wait to see more content, brother. Also, send those Kitex this way. Most of my baits are that color. Haven't used those swim baits yet. Comment number three is from Stream Fishing Guy. Out of all the comments, this one's probably my favorite. And if I wasn't doing a random number generator, this one definitely would have won. It stood out to me uh, and actually made me laugh a little bit. I thought this was really funny and pretty creative. Stream Fishing Guy says, the guy on the lawnmower needs the swim baits, but since he's so freaking busy, I'll take them off your hands. Keep up the great work, my dude. That was my favorite comment. Shout out to Stream Fishing Guy. That one made me laugh. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, go back and watch that Tactical DD unboxing video and you will get that reference to that joke. Made me chuckle. Next up, we got John Brazel who says, did we just become best friends? I love checking out them knockers. Love all your vids. Keep the heaters coming. Again, if you don't get that reference, go back and watch that unboxing vid and it will make sense to you. Let's check out the knockers on these. Oh yeah. Brett Newman says, Justin, I could really use those Kitek swim baits. The water I fish is less than three foot clarity. I'm the world's biggest loser and would love to win something once in my 57 years. That one kind of tugged on the heartstrings a little bit. So I wanted to give that dude a shot at it. Hopefully brighten his day a little bit if he wins. Next comment comes from Cole, and I'm not even gonna butcher your last name. Ayo, hey, some straight heaters. I think it would be really awesome to have some Kitex held by the man himself. Another great video. Keep up the good work. A couple more here and then we'll get on to the giveaway. Clinton Jenkins says, I need those Kitek black and blues because I got dark water here in Tennessee and never have thrown them. They'll do great on my six cent swim jig. Come on, buddy. Awesome. Luis Rosario, big supporter of the channel, always in the comment section, always riding with me. Wanted to throw Luis in on the giveaway. He says, You already know my situation, and even a pack would let me be with my thoughts and higher power to make things better. One love, royal, loyal. Familia. Shout out to Luis. Thank you, brother, for the comment. I'm rooting for you. Steve Potts says, you mean to tell me that you're going to call yourself a movie buff and you get two gifts from two people with the name Robert and you don't think to thank the Bobs? That was a cheap attempt at two movie references for you. And I actually got both of those movie references. The first one, Joe Dirt. The second one, The Office. Two really awesome, funny movies that I have watched a ton of times and both are just loaded with epic quotes. The Bobs, obviously, from The Office. And then Joe Dart, you mean to tell me you don't got any whisker do's, whisker don'ts. All right, and the last comment in the lineup is gonna come from Brittany Rodriguez. Short and sweet, she says, would pair up well with the Backwater Guild Divine Swim Jig. So, like I said, wanted to give the ladies some representation and give them a shot to win. One through 10, those are the comments that stood out to me. Once again, shout out to everybody who left a comment, but let's go ahead and run this random number generator and get a giveaway winner chosen. So, 
how I did this was I just went through all those comments and made a little list here on my phone. Kai Tech giveaway, everybody's name is numbered one through 10, and I'm just gonna get onto Google and run a random number generator, one through 10, and we're gonna let Google do the work and pick the winner for us. Good luck, everybody, we'll do this right now. I don't know how well you guys can see the phone, but I'm just gonna click generate, hopefully it'll roll. Number two, let's see who's number two. Who was number two? Jumpman, shout out to Jumpman, congratulations. You are the winner of the Kitex. Shoot me a message on Instagram, Facebook, email, however you wanna get a hold of me. Just uh, hit me up and give me that shipping info and I will get these Kitex sent out to you. Shout out to Jumpman, congratulations on the win. Free Kitex coming your way. Just give me that shipping info. I will be doing more giveaways in the future, so if you didn't win, no worries. I give away free baits both here on YouTube and on my Instagram all the time and we'll definitely be doing more of that in the future. But let's go ahead and rip off into this unboxing portion of the video. I actually have a couple little packages here we're gonna crack off into before we get into the real box. This right here, nothing too exciting, but it is channel related. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it together. Nothing special. It's just a couple additional GoPro batteries so I can have some extra power. GoPro Hero 8s are the cameras that I run while I'm on the boat. So snag me a couple extra batteries, no big deal. Now also you guys might see this box over my left shoulder. Let's go ahead and crack off into this thing. I'll show you what's in here. The other day while I was out there on the water, I ended up losing my net overboard. Now it was a floating net, but what happened was I ended up losing it twice. It flew out of the boat one time when I was going really fast. The wind grabbed a hold of it, had it strapped down, but it still got sucked out. Went into the water, turned around, picked it up, got it back, and then I ended up smacking a roller, hitting a wake, sending Beetlejuice airborne for a second, and when we came down, it bounced out again. Had it strapped down, but it still yeeted out of the boat and ended up in the lake for a second time. On that second time, I turned around, tried to find it, lost sight of it, could not find it, idled around for a little bit, and I think that enough water got inside of that net on that first drop to make it sink straight to the bottom because I just could not find it. It was not floating anywhere, so I had to scoop up a new net. That's what's in this box. We're gonna go ahead and crack off into here and I'll show you the new net that I went with. It's a foldable net, Cast King. Cast King, affordable innovation. This is the Cast King Mad Bite Folding Fishing Landing Net 24 inch hoop size improved telescopic handle. KTA CA M Net 24 LS part number. Comes in this cool little nylon zip up case. It was about 50 bucks on Amazon and needed something to get here quick since my other net is now in the bottom of the lake. A couple of reasons I went with this. One, it's foldable. Two, it's got the safety netting in it. Tangle proof safety net, a little easier on the fish. It's like rubberized material. Got a telescopic handle. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. Come on, buddy. I wanted something foldable so that I could put this thing in the rod locker and eliminate the possibility of it flying overboard. With my other net, it was not foldable. I just had to put it under the rod bungee and it came out of the boat a lot. I've had to turn around multiple times to go get that thing. This right here looks decent. I like the net size. That's what's up. Open, you just twist the handle, there's that. How else does this work? Oh, okay, has a little switch here on the back. There you just twist it, there we go. Extendo, it even has a little measurement tool on there. You can measure your fish, tighten it to uh, lock the handle down. There we go, there's the new net. Nothing too exciting, but we needed one. It's fishing related, and I know how you guys enjoy the unboxing content, so that's what we did. We went with the new net. Cast King, 24 inch, foldable, collapsible, telescopic, extendable, sweet. That'll work right there. That'll fit in the rod locker, no issue. Cool, all right. Now let's get off into the fun portion of the video, the part that I know you guys will wanna see, the real unboxing. What reel did I go with? We're gonna find out right now. In this box, I have a reel that we have never used before. A reel that we have never opened up here on the channel. I know you guys have seen me open a lot of SLX DCs, Corrado DCs and Corrado 200s. This right here, something a little different and I'm excited to get my hands on this. A lot of you guys suggested this reel in the comment section of the rod unboxing that we recently did. If you think you know what's in this box, go down below right now, drop a comment with your guesses. Don't cheat, you can cheat, it's whatever. Let's crack off into here. 
Let's see what I went with. Bottle Butcher, Berg Blades. Let's check it out. They got it packaged nicely. And they're all protected, got the, got the bubble wrap. First and foremost, you guys already know it's a Shimano. No surprise there, but what Shimano is it? Did you guess? Did you get it right? Let's find out. The Shimano reel that I've never used before, brand new to the channel that I decided to go with for our 7.2 medium heavy, moderate, fast action Lux series rod is Boom, the Corrado MGL 70 HG, 7.4 to one gear ratio. This is gonna be my new fluke reel. I'm gonna throw weightless flukes on this. This reel is specifically designed for throwing lighter weight baits. It's got a light spool in there, less line capacity, geared a little bit towards more finesse applications. And I've heard a lot of really good things. A lot of you guys suggested this reel. So that's what I went with. We're gonna try it out together here on the channel, see how it works for throwing that fluke smoke. Let's go ahead and crack into the box get our first up close and personal look at this reel. I always try to let you guys see it first. Sometimes I forget. It's a Corrado, so I'm expecting quality. Here we go. Here we go, you ready? Yes, sir. Oh man. First thing I notice, it's low, low profile. It's smaller, fits great in the hand. It looks awesome. Check this thing out. Boom. The 70 HG, Corrado 70 MGL. I really like the, the button shape on that. That's nice. Feels super smooth, just like any other Corrado. There's an up close and personal look at that bad boy. Take it all in. The MGL 70. So the difference here being the lighter spool, less line capacity with it being a lighter spool on there. It's uh, supposed to be able to cast easier, build up uh, that inertia with a little less resistance. You're not gonna get as much casting distance out of this reel, but that's okay for finesse applications. The size 70 reel is gonna do well for that fluke. And with it being a, a finesse reel, it's gonna do great throwing a weightless fluke, which is practically the only way I ever throw it weightless so let's get this thing spooled up with some fresh line get it mounted onto that rod and we'll take a look at the entire completed setup stoked man first impressions out of the box it looks awesome and it feels great in the hand i mean it's really tucked in there nice dude nice it's small here in a minute we'll grab the original corrado 200k and we'll kind of stack them up side by side and let you get a look at the size comparison between the two because i know sometimes it can be kind of tough to tell on camera without one to look at side by side but it's definitely smaller in the hand i ain't mad at it let's get it spooled up for this 70 mgl i'm going to be using sunline assassin fluorocarbon 15 pound that's what i'm going to go with First things first, we gotta get it mounted up on a rod. And the rod that I'm gonna be pairing this up with is the new, to me, Lux Series, seven foot, two inch, medium heavy, moderate fast. Boom, that Lux smoke. I love the Lux Series rods. I do really well with these. Really enjoy fishing with them. And yeah, I'm looking forward to pairing up this MGL, getting out there on the water and doing some uh, some fluke fishing, some weightless fluke fishing. You guys know I love throwing a soft plastic jerk bait. I always have a fluke tied on nearby at the ready. It's one of my confidence baits and it's something that I tend to use whenever the bite gets tough. So it'll be nice to have a setup dedicated to that application, to that technique. Oh, something I just noticed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something else I just noticed when I look down. The caps here on the reel handles are like a chrome color. That's different, shiny, cool, all right. Nothing major, but it is a detail that I just noticed when I looked down, so that's cool. Let's get this thing mounted up on this rod, get it spooled up with this fluorocarbon, and then we'll uh, get it rigged up with the bait. We'll compare it to the Corrado 200K. Woo, that's what I went with. Corrado MGL70 HG 7.4 to 1 gear ratio. Finesse fishing with the fluke smoke. Let's get it mounted up. Excuse the dog over there going nuts. Somebody's dog's barking. It's always something. Nice. So the brake adjustment on the MGL here is towards the top outside of the side plate cover. The regular Corrado 200 is down here on the bottom next to the open switch. 
open switch still in the same spot, but brake adjustment up here on the outside. So that's a difference. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spool this thing up with the fluorocarbon. One thing I don't have to do here is I don't have to run a backing. Two reasons, less line capacity on this finesse reel, not gonna take up as much of my expensive fluorocarbon. It also has a skeletonized spool, so I can just tie it directly to the spool. We'll be good to go, no risk of line slippage. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing spooled up now. We'll take a look at it, tie a bait on, and then we'll do some other fun stuff as well. So stay ready. Got some more uh, tackle talking we're gonna do in this video as well. A couple things back here on the table I wanna show you. So stay tuned, don't click off. Let's go ahead and get this thing ready for the water. Once again, congratulations to Jumpman on winning the Kitex. Shout out to everybody that left me a comment. We'll do more giveaways soon. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do and just freak out, man. Name that movie. Hint, it's not Jerry Maguire. All right, so I have my line thread through my rod. I always like to thread the line all the way through every line got on the rod. That way it reels on nice and smooth and straight. Helps keep a little bit of tension when you have it going through all the line guides and your uh, rod can flex down there at the tip. And go ahead and throw my spool into my line spooler over here on the table and uh, reel it on and that'll be it. We'll get a bait tied on. So recently I've had some guys ask me about the line spooler. I'll go ahead and throw a link to that down below in the video description so you guys can scoop one up for yourself or just hop on Amazon and check it out. It's just a cheap little budget line spooler but it works really well for me. That's what I've been using for a while now and I've had no issues so I'll throw that down below in the description. You can check it out for yourself, see if it's something you might be interested in scooping. It definitely made my life a lot easier once I started using it. So here we go. All right, I've got that size 70 spool filled up to the brim. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my fluorocarbon, put my spool away. Once again, this is Sunline Assassin, 15 pound FC fluorocarbon. And I'll throw a link to it down below in the description as well so you guys can Check out the same line that I use a lot of the time. This is probably my favorite fluorocarbon line. Super smooth, abrasion resistant, Sunline Assassin. It's not as expensive as some of the other stuff, but it ain't cheap either. But I'll throw it down there for you guys to check out if you're interested. That was 660 yards right there. And that's about gone. There's enough left on there to tie a few liters. And that's about it. Have to order another one of these soon. So I'll be checking out my own video description. All right, now we need to get a bait tied onto this. So what I have here is a 4 rock EWG extra wide gap worm hook and a zoom salty super fluke. And that's gonna be what I'm getting set up on this MGL 70 Corrado finesse style, weightless. Just gonna tie the hook on and put the bait on the hook and that's gonna be it. And that's how I'm gonna put this reel to the test. I wanna be throwing light stuff and see uh, see how it does. That's, that's what it's made to do. That's what it's built to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Gonna tie a good old improved clinch knot for now. I know there are a lot of fancy knots out there. Everybody has their preference. This is the knot that I've been tying the longest, the knot that I can tie the cleanest and the knot that I have the most confidence in, honestly. Improved clinch knot. Never done me dirty. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that. That's about as clean as it gets when it comes to tying a knot for me. And most importantly, I trust it. I will use a San Diego jam if I'm tying on a big swim bait. And I will use a Palomar knot if I'm tying on straight braid to a top water. But most of the time, if you're seeing me retie out there on the water, I'm tying an improved clinch knot. Zoom, salty super fluke, disco green, those disco biscuits. Super confidence color, excellent clear water color. I'll show you guys this bait up close. Check it out. It's like a clear ghost soft plastic base with black, green, yellow, and small purple pinkish flake. And it's a killer out here in my clear water. Love throwing this one. Caught a ton of fish on this. Caught hundreds of fish on this right here. And uh, that's, the, that's the bait that I'm gonna be throwing on this 4 rod. Show you guys how I rig it, even though a lot of you probably already know. Those of you guys that like watching me rig up the tackle, here we go. Into the nose directly in the middle. I'll come out right about halfway through the bottom of the chin, push that up to the bend in the hook, line up the bend right there in the back, come through there with my hook point, boom. She's rigged. I'll go ahead and text pose it. Just tuck that hook point back into the plastic there. Skin hook it, whatever you want to call it. And that right there is how I'm going to fish that bad boy. We are set up, ready to go out there onto the water and throw our new little finesse Corrado MGL setup. Let me grab that 200. I'll show you what it looks like next to the regular 200. This is a lower profile, a little bit smaller. So here's a 200K. It's my swim bait setup. Here's that MGL. You can see it's a subtle difference, but there's definitely a difference. The 200 is beefier, bigger, and that 70 is low profile, tucked away, gonna be a lot smaller in the hand. Yeah, there's a difference there. I ain't mad at it. 
Looking forward to seeing how comfortable that is, seeing how that works out for me. Love a low profile reel, man. It's awesome. These right here are low profile enough. The 70, even more tight, even more tucked away, even more hidden. And those chrome caps on the reel and the button, really cool, man. Nice touches. Everything looks really cool. Lots of uh, really updated detail on there. 70 HG MGL first impressions. I ain't mad at it. All right, now before we wrap this video up, I got one more thing I wanna show you guys. We're gonna keep doing a little bit more tackle rigging here just for fun. Something that I noticed was going through the tackle wall and I saw something that is gonna pair up great together and I thought I would go ahead and rig it up right here with you guys on camera. So let's check it out. This Devon Braid Swim Jig, six cents fishing, made in the USA, 5 16 ounce. Watermelon Grind is the color. Let's crack it open and take a closer look. It's like a dark green pumpkin, watermelon seed with some blue and black accents thrown in there, blue glitter, screw lock, heavy wire hook, can be thrown on braid, the weed guard, Devon swim jig head, painted, made in the USA, six cents fishing, Devon smoke goodness. That green and blue would pair up really nicely with a bluegrass magic color prawn 4.2. Now, normally I would throw a stroker craw or a Devon swim bait or a Kitek on the back of a swim jig. Those are the three trailers that I normally run. But I saw these prawns sitting up there and I was like, you know what? I bet you that prawn wouldn't do too bad on the back of the swim jig, but we're gonna rig it up a special way. And I'm gonna show you right here what we're gonna do. This is that Bluegrass Magic Prawn 4.2. As you can see, it's got the green pumpkin with the blue flake on one side and then the light blue accent on the other side. First things first, I'm gonna separate those claws, separate those appendages, get it kicking and flicking. I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the outside pinchers, appendages, claws, whatever you wanna call them. Streamline it a little bit. I'm gonna leave the legs. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this as my swim jig trailer. I think this is gonna pair up nicely, man. I've never done it before, but I wanna try it. And I'm gonna do something a little bit special here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it vertical. So instead of rigging it up normal, flat like this, I'm gonna turn it to the side and then go ahead and put it on just like I normally would. But I'm gonna come out of the side of the bait. Just like that right there. Then we're gonna screw it onto the screw lock. Gonna have to kind of get, get funky with it and bend it around, kind of force it around the hook bend. Thread it all the way on, just like we normally would. And check that out. Check that out right there, dude. Look at that. So you've got it rigged straight up and down. Gives it that fishtail look to it. On one side, you got that awesome bluegill blue accent. On the other side, the green pumpkin with the more subtle blue flake. And that is an awesome natural bluegill presentation right there. Yeah, it just hit me. I was staring at that and I was like, dude, I think that might be money rigged up with a prawn sideways. A little bit larger profile, maybe draw out a bigger bite. That's what I'm gonna roll with right there. You guys let me know what you think. Have you ever rigged up one like this? Do you think that'll work? Think a fish is gonna try to eat that? We're gonna find out together in a future video. Stay ready. Thank you guys for joining me here in this real unboxing, rigging. Shout out to Jumpman for winning the giveaway. Check out sixcentsfishing.com. I got the Black Friday deals going on right now. Use code BF20 at checkout for 20% off everything on the website. Also check out theheaterzone.com if you're interested in scoring yourself some J Royal merch. If this is your first time watching or if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us color in the subscriber bar back there on the subscriber board. I put out new fishing videos all the time, both from in here in the garage, Talk and Tackle, and from out there on the water catching fish. I would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here. But that's all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'll see you on the next one. There's one last look at that MGL smoke. If you guys wanna see me fish with this, sub the channel. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. I'll see y'all later.